Hello, I'm going to show you the, the wax gasifier today. Um, this is a design I made, and it's 2 o'clock right now, and I'm going to start it up, do a timer on it, see how long it takes. This is how I started this handles on it. Just need to get it one bit lit. These are cotton swabs covered in paraffin wax. And just set it like that. And it'll get itself going. Oh, I'm gonna go grab the windscreen. Alright, so this is the windscreen I made. It's based off the West Wind design. It's just made out of aluminum. So the way this stove works is it's like a gasification stove, such as wood gasification. Um, but this way the wax uh, melts and then becomes gaseous, and you're then able to do a second burn to it. But it must, it has to heat up first, and then we'll be able to go into the second combustion phase. Now I find that it's most sooty right now. You can see the soot, it's wasted fuel. It doesn't have enough oxygen to burn or heat. And, but once it gets going, uh, this thing's really gonna, gonna change. It's a lot like the alcohol stoves. They're gasification stoves as well, except alcohol has a much lower boiling rate. Let's see if it's ready. Alright. So I think it's been about three minutes and um, getting the blue flames now. Oh, I didn't like that. I don't think I let it heat up enough, that's the issue. <laughs> the other bits about this is it's, uh, it's about 27 degrees out, below freezing, and as you can see, there's some way I'm trying to keep it open so the camera can see. As you can see, it's still a work in progress.
and you can see in the, in here some of the gas is leaking through the lower intake ports because there's not enough flow um, to release it so it's sipping sipping up and igniting itself and but there's not a lot leaking out so it's it looks like it's raining it's just uh, retracting back down to the intake port and then extinguishing So how this works is that I took uh, cotton swabs, see, and I just uh, melted wax in a one dollar, um, one of those slow cookers, one dollar slow cooker from Goodwill, just melt some wax, dip these in, they weigh about half of an ounce, a little bit more, and uh, that's all that's, this is going on, it's not going to use the whole thing either to get two cups of water boiling. So, um, it's a little bit slower than your average alcohol stove, slightly, um, harder, but, uh, you can use this in colder temperatures, and it's got a nice warmth to it, the lighting's nice, it doesn't, uh, if you spill it, it's no issue, this is the fuel, so, I, I always spill the alcohol on myself, so this is a nice upgrade. All I do is I cut this up in the little, little sticks, throw it in there, nothing special. But yeah, hope you're enjoying the video.
You can hear the water boiling, starting to boil at least. I'm going to use this. It's uh, just aluminum foil. Turn it in a spoon, stamp it out, save the fuel. It takes this and a good blow, and then it'll smoke for a bit. So you want to smother it some more, cut off all, as much oxygen as you can to the embers, reduce the smut. And we're coming up on fourteen minutes. It's not a roaring boil, but got it going. Remember, it's 27 degrees out, so everything, this is definitely um, a bit slower because of that, using tap water. There, I'm, I think I'm going to stamp it out. There we go. That's that. It's a bit more work than your cat can stove, but if you use wax, you get a lot more heat. And uh, it only weighs 1.3 ounces. Pretty good. It's just two stainless steel sample cups. Made a hole in the top, I think uh, 16 holes on the top, a good amount in the middle and some on the bottom. You want different amounts of draft, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> um, ask any questions, I got... Uh, this is an experiment. I'm trying to go as cheap as possible, and this is what I came up with. So, enjoy.